The opening text states that, the term, Sisu, is Finnish, and has no direct translation, but is essentially a force of unstoppable determination, that comes out, when most necessary. A narrator, then starts by stating that, it is three years into World War II and 1944. Finland has agreed, to an armistice with the Soviet Union, to drive German troops out of their country. The Nazis have begun to employ scorched earth tactics, destroying towns, roads, and bridges, and capturing people. Chapter 1, The Gold. In Lapland, a prospector, named Atami Korpi, is with his little dog, in an area of mining for gold. He finds a little gold nugget, and camps in the area over a few nights, while enemy planes fly overhead. Eventually, Atami manages, to find a plentiful gold deposit in the dirt, causing him to cheer. He gathers his gold, and starts to make his way to the nearest bank. Chapter 2. The Nazis. A Nazi platoon, led by, Bruno Heldorf, makes its way through the land, taking with them is, a group of women, who are as their prisoners. A small group of Nazis, encounters Atami and the dog, while he rides on his horse. They stop him, and demand to inspect his belongings. Atami sends the dog to run away, and hide himself, while the Nazis start shooting at him. The lead Nazi, finds Atami's gold, and starts to taunt him, saying, he and the others will take it. Atami responds, by grabbing a knife, and sticking it in the Nazi's head. He then proceeds to stab, and shoot the remaining Nazis, including, using one as a human shield. Now, Atami proceeds on the horse. Later, Heldorf and his goons, find their comrades' corpses, and a gold rock, that was left behind. They follow Atami's trail, and begin to shoot at him. The horse manages to outrun the gunfire, but they run over a mine, and the horse is blown to bits. Atami mourns his horse, before having to hide. Chapter 3. The Minefield. Heldorf and the other Nazis, find Atami, and corner him. He spots a nearby mine, and throws a rock at it, creating an explosion, that helps hide him. The Nazi starts to open fire in his direction. Heldorf sends a young Nazi out, to see, if Atami is still alive. Atami throws a minefield at the Nazi's head, blowing him up. Heldorf sends two more men out to run, forcing them to run into mines, and get blown up as well. The Nazis continue their gunfire, which Atami blocks with a shield. One of the female prisoners, named Aino, volunteers to go up ahead, along with a second woman. Chapter 4. The Legend. As the Nazis proceed forward, Heldorf talks to one of his mates, that found Atami's dog tags, and who knows about Atami, and his history of serving in the Winter War. He lost his family to the Russians, and he has since earned a reputation, for being a ruthless killing machine, that some have taken to calling, Kache, or, the immortal. Heldorf intends to get the gold, because he knows that, the Nazi party will soon lose its power, and the gold will be their way to retire in peace. Atami runs, and hides, until the Nazi convoy drives past, and he rolls under one of their vans. He cuts one of the gas lines, to mask his scent from the Nazis' attack dogs. Heldorf and the others stop, when they smell the gas. They catch Atami, and try to kill him, but he sparks a match, that ignites the gas, but he is covered in, setting himself on fire, until he runs into a nearby lake. The Nazis shoot at him, but Heldorf waits for him, to come up for air. He then sends three Nazis on a boat, to dive in after him. Two men dive in, and Atami slits their throats, and takes their remaining air. The third man starts to ride the boat away, but Heldorf has him shot, for trying to desert them. And Atami gets on the boat, and escapes, but Heldorf gets the dog. Chapter 5. Scorched Earth. Atami comes upon a town, which devastated by the Nazis' tactics. He finds an abandoned gas station, where Heldorf sends the dog to run to his master, with a stick of dynamite attached to him. Atami removes the dynamite, but gets thrown by the explosion. Heldorf plus his two goons, named Wolf and Schutze, show up, and tie Atami up by the neck, to hang him, before stealing the rest of his gold. Atami manages, to hook one of his wounds from the explosion, onto a nearby pole, to save himself from the noose. The following morning, a pair of German pilots, come by to get fuel. They find Atami, and attempt to antagonize him, but, Atami stabs one to death, and knocks the other unconscious. Atami makes him fly him closer to the platoon, before hanging him, and leaving him for the Nazis to find. Chapter 6. Kill Em All. Atami catches up to the convoy, as they head toward Norway, to make their escape with the gold. He gets a hold of some guns, and gives them to Aino, and also the other women. 
Atami pulls one Nazi out onto the street, where he gets run over by a tank. The women then arm themselves, and pump the Nazis full of lead. Atami commandeers a tank, and pulls Wolf out, leaving him to be taken by the women. On the other hand, Heldorf and Schutze, meet with their pilot to get them out, but Heldorf shoots Schutze in the head, and leaves with the pilot himself. But suddenly, Atami catches up to them, and shoots at them with the tank, hitting their pilot. Atami then uses his pickaxe, to hook himself onto the plane, as it takes off. He breaks his way inside, with Heldorf confronting him. He starts to beat Atami ferociously, even using a static line, to slice into his face. However, Atami waits for the right moment, to grab the line, and hook it onto a nearby bomb, dropping it from the plane, with Heldorf attached to it, sending him plummeting to his explosive death. Atami then, goes into the cockpit, where, the pilot has died, and he braces for impact, as the plane crashes. Final Chapter Aino and the other imprisoned women, deliver Wolf to the Finnish army. Meanwhile, Atami pulls himself out of a swamp, and finds a motorcycle, also reuniting with the dog in the process. Then Atami rides to Helsinki, where he arrives at a bank. Everyone in the bank, stares at the filth-covered prospector, entering with his pickaxe. He takes the recovered gold to a teller, and dumps it all on the counter. Atami, who has been silent the entire movie, finally speaks, requesting large bills, because, they won't be such hard to carry. From here, this masterpiece movie ends, hope, you guys enjoyed this more. I'll meet you tomorrow, but before sign off, I request you guys, to like subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.